Welcome back to the channel, Tatsters. My name's George Russ. The channel is Retro Reselling. Uh, I buy and sell mainly secondhand used items from boot sales, charity shops, auctions, wherever I can get them from. Buy them cheap, sell them online for a profit. That's my business. That's how I pay my bills. I was back at a Sunday boot sale this morning and I completely flopped on getting footage for you. So apologies for that, but to make up for that, a uh, lack of um, in the field type of footage that I know people like, I myself like that sort of footage. So yeah, bit of a fail there, but Ben Fitzpatrick style type video, like the backdrop, like the creases, not quite professional, like TV quality professional, but it'll do. Got my lights, got my table set out with most of the stuff that I bought today. Got two tables worth, even though the second table is just one item, but it's big and heavy. I'll show it at the end. This is what I got. Um, I've got two things under here hiding away. Huge, huge boot sale. It was the full field plus more around the corner. It was single lane, so maybe if it was double lane like last year, it might have been a full field, but it was so busy. The families were out in full swing. People were starting to wander out a bit more, more confidence in selling their personal stuff, which is good news. But for the amount of people, it was very, very slow. I had three pickups towards the end and I've made the last few near the end. So yeah, again, good quality. I've had to pay up again, but I don't mind as long as it's the right thing, like I always say. So we're going to go through one by one, what I paid, what it is, bit of information, what I'm planning to list it for. And just to note, this is just a guide, approximate value listing. It doesn't mean what I say it will sell for necessarily. So if you're not subscribed, a good time now. Hit that button down there, subscribe, hit the bell so you know as soon as I go live or release new videos, because I also do sold videos. So for example, these, I might say they sell for 50 quid or I list them for 50. They might then sell for 30, might sell for 70, might try them higher, might get them. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, I'll appreciate it. And you'll be up to date with all my latest videos. So let's get cracking. We'll start with the first pickup of the day, which was this. I picked these up before. They're like um, circulation boosters. Uh, you put your feet on, it sends electrical waves into the body and apparently helps with your circulation. Don't know if that's all true or BS, <laughs> but um, this is a good um, brand. Revitif, Revitif, Revitive. Not sure how you say it, but it came obviously with the main unit. Got remote control and instructions manual. So we've got everything apart from the power supply. So it just takes a normal mains set power supply. I can get them dirt cheap off eBay, maybe five, six pound for the power supply. This was from a dealer. I had to pay forty pound, which seems a lot. Like what am I doing? Crazy, right? These are going at least 85 pounds, people have been achieving 125. That's why I've paid up. And these sell quick as well. Expensive when new, in good quality condition. The guy said, or the dealer said, the person before this uh, used it a couple of times before he said he passed away. A bit dusty, which is to be expected. So give that a wipe over, get the power supply, and hopefully that is a hundred pound sale there. There are dirt cheap ones that can go for 20 to 30, mid range, 50, 60 I've sold before. This is the first time I've picked one of these up, so this is the one to look out for. Three figure sale here, hopefully. We'll come to the camcorder next. Got a sharp view cam. Retro looking thing. But you can hold the handle, it moves up and down. Got the viewfinder here. It's got a battery, it's got the main supply as well. Five pound bargain price, or fair price I'd say. They don't fetch as much as you would think. I think, without looking it up, I'm thinking 25, 30, maybe a little bit more, 35, 40. Again, stay tuned to see what I do get, what I do list it for. Uh, my eBay shop is down below if you was interested or if you're curious to see what I do list it for, see how my shop's getting on. Links in the description, come over follow. Yeah, uh, I like picking up camcorders. Um, this is a cool one, sort of mid-range one, I'd say. Hopefully it all works. Looks nice and clean. But yeah, test it fully, get it listed from five pound, yeah. Decent pick up there. Got some Hunter Wellies. Uh, this was one of, the, this might have been my first pick up actually. First or second, I can't remember now. Just the Hunter Wellies. We've all heard of it. Should have the Royal Crest that like I've said before. Royal Crests, Queen Lizzie wears these apparently. She approves of them. Even though they are made in China. British brand made in China, so yeah. With Wellies, just make sure obviously there's no hole, so it is still waterproof. Make sure the sole isn't coming away from the main boot. Nice decent black colour, UK size 6, so bang on the money for a women's size. I think for women in the UK, the average or the most popular size is size 6. Good brand, good colour, 
I've paid £15, which I might slightly overpaid for. Obviously, we're in summer now, no festivals, nothing like that. If it was obviously festival season in a normal year, these would go out by now, like summer festivals, they would fly off the shelf. Um, but I'm not sure, might have paid a bit much. Tried to get her down a bit, but she wasn't having it. It was early on, which is fair enough. And the Hunter, so they are expensive new. Um, let's say 35, 40, but again, not too sure. I'm not 100% sure. I have to do my research, see who my competition is at the time. But uh, I'm sure once we hit a bit of rain, we're in the UK, so no doubt it's gonna rain soon. We'll get a rainy season and hopefully they'll sell. These next three were from the same dealer. Uh, really fair prices, really cheap prices, maybe too cheap. I felt a bit bad, especially this one. But I'll come to this one first. This is a Marshall sort of micro amp for your guitar. Um, obviously Marshall is a probably the most famous brand of guitar amps. This is a cute little micro one, like pocket size. Fits in there, battery powered and mains. It hasn't got the main supply again. At least it's battery powered. I think a nine volt battery in the back. Nice and clean battery compartment there. So yeah, I'm hoping it works. Five pound into hopefully 20 pound. So not as much as the others, but five to 20. Like I say, that's gonna pay a bill for the month. Cute little thing. Got some ice hockey skates now. Uh, really, really dirty and I need to replace the laces, but sometimes you have to look past the condition, like the dirt. So I was just looking for scratches, scrapes. That's the sort of thing I was looking for. Obviously dust and dirt, that can wipe off, that can clean off. But if this will pick up, but really, really dusty. But the main thing is, there's no rips in the fabric. The blades are in good condition, not rusted up. Obviously with uh, ice skating, there is salt in the ice and they can rust if they're not looked after. No rust going on. I've had this brand before. I think I picked this exact shape up last year in my last year's videos and I got a good price for them. Good brand, Bauer. I think these are a Canadian band. Obviously ice hockey is biggest in Canada. So once I've cleaned these up, Got some white or black laces on them. Probably that'll be like two, three pound for some laces. Make them look good. Uh, did I say what I paid for? I paid three pound, which is a bargain for these. Obviously that reflects in the condition. I'm gonna have to give them a good wipe up, good clean, make them look fresh. But once they are all good and looking fresh, 40, 45, maybe 50. I've gone the safer end of 35, 40. Like that's what I think I'll get in the end. Send offers out, accept best offers, all that stuff. Really good pickup, good brand but it's going to take a bit of effort to get that price. But yeah, don't mind. So with these two, uh, this was hanging up on his van, uh, two pounds he wanted. Two pounds for a leather all-in-one biker suit. Put one up yesterday on my Saturday sale. Uh, what did I pay for that one? That was 20 pounds and I thought that was cheap to be honest. Two pounds, felt like I was staying in it from him. We've got Segura, I think that's how you say it. Segura, Segura. Yeah, made in France. Sort of retro item, vintage retro biker stuff. Real leather, really heavy. Looks like a medium to large men's. Can't see the size, but I'm pretty sure it's a large men's. Slightly bigger than me. I'm a medium, so yeah. Good size, retro, cool colours. Two pound, Jesus Christ. Can't believe each other. I thought I wanted to give him a bit more really, but yeah, that's what he wanted, so that's what I paid. I'm thinking I'm gonna get 75, 85, but again, knowing me, I'll aim high, bring it down. See what the buyers are like, see if they're interested at a higher price, if not accept offers, bring the price down and then yeah, I'm thinking 75.85. If I plop that down there, we've got a couple of hefty units here. Um, we've got two laser disc players here, two. I've not hardly seen any in the wild. I might have seen two in the wild, one was majorly overpriced and one was in my electronics hall back in the autumn. That went for 350 I think, that was a high-end industrial one. This isn't like industrial, so it won't be probably 350. They wanted 25, got them for 20 pound in the end, 20 each. So I paid 40 pound. Uh, we've got Pioneer, Pioneer Laser Disc. This one's just Laser Disc. If you don't know what Laser Disc is, God, it's quite heavy. Laser Disc is basically DVD, but a huge vinyl, like 12 inch sized shiny disc. I've got a Jurassic Park to test, huge one. So yeah, hopefully it works, power it up, play the disc, I've got my TV to test on. So fingers crossed 20 pound, if it's working, what, name my price I guess, I don't think there's much competition. 180, maybe 200 and a bit beyond. 180 to 250, higher end. That's with that one. The second one, very similar, Pioneer again, laser disc. But this one also plays normal CDs, which is an additional feature to this one. So this one, if it will work, and again, test it all out. Hopefully, fingers crossed it is working. 
again, because it's got that additional feature of playing CDs as well as laser discs, that might again be two to probably 250 more comfortably if working. But then again, maybe 275. Who knows? Even if these are both not working, 20 pounds for a laser disc for parts to people to repair, people are gonna pay more than 20 pounds if they know what they're doing to fix them on to then sell them for them higher prices. Yeah, if they're broken or faulty, I'm thinking 40 to 50 pound each, which isn't great for a big hefty thing to post out. But yeah, it's worth the risk when, if they are working, I'm gonna get 200, maybe a little bit beyond that. Worth the risk, quality item, rare item. Absolutely love it. This is why I missed the boots house so much. Love it. So let's clear the table now and get the last item on here to show you. And here it is. That was cheesy. <laughs> um, yeah, a massive, heavy, heavy TV. Yeah, uh, 20 pound I paid for this big unit, um, plus the remote. Uh, why did I pay 20 pound for a big old TV? Because of the brand, because of the make. Um, high end quality, Bang & Olufsen, b and um, TV unit, uh, CRT TV. It's really, really heavy. I had to get my trolley, I'll pick it up. There you go, so, yeah, big TV. It weighs, what? I don't even know what it weighs, 40 kilograms, 40 to 50 kilograms. So why did I buy it? First of all, it was only 20 pounds for a high quality brand, Bang & Olufsen. People like this stuff, they love it, uh, they collect it. Retro gamers, like with the portable TVs, they play their old retro games on. But with this as well, people like this sort of TV still because the image is uh, quality. I'm not sure of the year it was made. I'm thinking mid to late 90s, maybe early 2000s after research. This is the MX7000. I think it's 20 something inch. I'm not sure of the inches. I think it's 28 inch. So it's a big, big thing. Um, the remote control on its own, if the remote's working, this should be worth, I'm thinking up to 50 pounds. If you can find Bang & Olufsen, even remote controls by themselves, they fetch crazy like money. Have a look on eBay for yourself. Just type in Bang & Olufsen, remote control, used. See what prices they're going for sold. It's crazy what people pay. This is one of them. It was too cheap and too cool not to say no to. I was hoping it was going to say like 80, 100 pounds and I could just walk away, forget about it. But 20 pounds with the remote, I couldn't say no. And I'm <laughs> regretting it a little bit now. It's really heavy. Uh, it's going to have to be collection in person or use a courier service which I've got a couple of. Um, yeah, even as auction, um, people are getting over a hundred pound easily, collection in person. Obviously I'm gonna ask probably a buy it now price. If it's all good and working, I'm thinking over 200 pound and offer my courier service. So it's open up to the country, not internationally. I can't post this up, no way. Um, no, there's just no going there. So UK only, as long as I can pick it up or a man in van can deliver it, tracked of course, then yeah. My 20 pound is more than safe, as long as it's all working. I could have completely failed here. This might not be working, this might not work. Then it's parts only. I might get 40, 50 pounds maybe. If I'm lucky, I might have, have to wait for that. It's big, it's gonna take up a lot of room in here. But luckily, charity shops are open. There's a couple of things I'm gonna donate, clear some space, have a sort out. So yeah, um, we'll see. And if I really want it to get moving, I'll put it as an auction and get about 100 pound for it. So the biggest to last, not bad. And that's my pickups for a Sunday boot sale. Uh, just the one boot sale, I know we go to a later one, a Lazy Bones, but that's not on yet. They're sort of delaying, making sure the rules are all intact or I'm not really sure what they're doing, but they haven't announced yet. I could have gone to two, but I just wanted the one today. I went to obviously one yesterday, done really well. I've done good here again, so I've got a few bits to get going before hopefully a midweek one. The biggest one in Essex is opening on Wednesday. I'm planning to hit that on Wednesday, hopefully. Going well so far. Got some quality stuff that will sell quickly as well. That's the key. I don't want to be a museum or a hoarder. I want to list stuff, I want it gone. I don't want to see it on the shelf for more than, what, three to four months, four months maximum. Like my slogan says, buy, sell, repeat. Not buy, hold, stay, then sell. That's not what I'm about. I want to get in, pay up for quality, so it's gonna move fast, move for strong money, repeat the cycle, keep it going like that. That seems to work for me. Obviously it was caught out a bit during lockdown. Uh, obviously that worked with a big backlog, but now I'm hitting loads of boot sales, that might be changing. So yeah, I've got to crack on, I've got work to do. 
Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave that like, smash the like button if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already. It'd be good to have you along. With that being said, I'll probably see you again Wednesday or Thursday for a midweek boot sale. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching. See you later. Thank you.